I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on linear law. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for taking keen interest on this topic. As you know, linear law is used to reduce nonlinear functions. They could be functions or relations into linear relation. Basically of the form y equals to capital Y equals to mx plus b, right? Now it is very important to understand that you could have different forms. So in this particular exercise, we'll take an example with the rational function, right? So we have a rational function here. And let us see how we can get different forms of the same nonlinear rational function. So what we have here is y equals to a constant c over a constant k times x plus d. Now to begin with, we could just flip it and we could write 1 over y as equal to k times x plus d over c, right? Now whenever you are converting to this form, then you need to look for a constant and that makes a huge difference. So we should have a constant term. So accordingly, we could have two different ways in this. I'll show you two different ways. We could have many ways, of course. So two different ways could be when we write this, let me rewrite this. We could write this as 1 over y equals 2 k over cx plus d over c. The other way is 1 over y equals 2. I mean, both are the same equations when I'm writing now, but we'll change the form soon. Now here, you see that d over c is a constant. Here we get a y term. So, so I could draw a graph which could be linear provided on my axis. What points, what should I take? On the y-axis, we are looking for this, right? Capital Y equals to M capital X plus C, right? So on that vertical axis, if I take 1 over Y, and on the horizontal axis, if I take just X, now what do I have here? So, so we could have now a straight line here, correct? So I could draw a straight line in this case. Just let me sketch one, for example. Now for this straight line, the intercept here is going to be d over c, right? This point here will be d over c and the slope m will be k over c. Do you understand? That is what it represents, correct? Answer, straight line. So that is how we work with linear law, correct? Now, uh, well, I missed here uh, writing C. Now, we could actually give it a different form also. You could look it at a different, uh, different way. And that is, you could also, if I further divide all this by X, let us say. So, if I, now I want to change the form, okay. So, what I'm doing here is to the second equation. So, we got one form already. So, this is one way, right. So for the second, now given this equation, I'll divide by x. So if I divide by x, all the terms here, I get 1 over xy equals to constant k, k over c, that x cancels, plus d over c times 1 over x. Now this is another way, right? We could call that to be our capital Y, correct? Let me rearrange this. So, so we have 1 over XY equals to the gradient is now D over C and 1 over X plus K over C, correct? So if you have the second form, then you could sketch something like this, right? So let's work with this form. So here, what you notice is that on the y-axis, this capital Y, which we talk about, will have 1 over xy. And here, on the x-axis, we have 1 over x. In this particular case, 
the intercept on 1 over xy is k over c. So, so yeah, if you have a line now here, so this point here will be what? k over c. So, this will be k over c and the gradient m will be d over c. That is the gradient, correct? So, that is how you could see this as capital Y equals to m capital X plus lower case. Do you understand? So, that is how you could interpret a rational function when it is linearized as shown here. And always you could have more than once. I've just shown you two different ways of doing the same thing and that's how it could be done. Perfect. So, I hope you find it interesting and useful, right? Now, many times we are given such situations, we may have to find the constants. So, for that, I have a question for you. Perfect. I, have I think you have understood this method. Now, here is a question for you. The question here is, the variable x and y are related by the equation ay equals to x plus bx square. The graph of y over x is plotted against x. The resulting line has a gradient of 5 and an intercept on the y-axis of 0 0.5. Calculate the value of a and b, right? So, what is given to us is an equation which is ay equals to x plus bx square. What you need to do, the other information which is given to us is, is on this particular graph, it says when the graph of y over x is plotted against x, so we have y over x here is plotted against x, the resulting line has a gradient of 5, so we have m of 5, and intercept on y over x as, so we have something like this, with this point here is 0 0.5, so this point here is half. Perfect. So that is the situation and you need to find what is A and what is B. So I hope the question is absolutely clear. So feel free to write your comment, share your views, uh, provide your answer in the comments and uh, I'll provide you the link for its solution. So you can check the solution on the provided link. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and all the best.